with the phone. What's going on, everybody? How you doing? It's John Brewer here, and I am actually on Atlantic Avenue and Congress. A lot of people have been asking me, where can I get good Indian food? Where can I get fantastic Indian food? Where can I get great Indian food? Well, this is the same people that were here before. New name, Victor's Indian Palace. They are located on Atlantic and Congress. Like I said, it's in the southwest corner of Atlantic and Congress. Let's go check this place out. It's a really cool place. So for those who don't know, this place has been here for about five years and it's tucked in the back corner. And as you can see here, we got plenty of outdoor seating. They will take reservations. So if you want to call up and make a reservation, we're going to get the phone number to you guys. But as you can see, they've got plenty of outdoor seating. They also do uh, Grubhub, Delivery Dudes. This is their phone number here. So freeze the frame if you need it. We're going to mask up. And let's go check out, uh, let's go check out Victor's Indian Palace. Hey guys, what's going on? How are you? How are you? Nice to see you. That's Rhea. And uh, this is the space. So as you guys can see, there's plenty of space here. They alternate every, every booth here. Uh, so if you, if you, if you want to sit inside, it's actually very, very comfortable in here. I love some of the art that's on the walls here. Really beautiful stuff. They've got... Bollywood on the TV, authentic Indian pop music going on. It's just a great little vibe. It's great stuff. There's the man himself. How are you, Victor? I'm good, John. How are you? What's going on? Yeah, so uh, this is a food over here. Okay. And here, here comes our sizzler. Oh, wow. Tandoori. Check this out. Can you hear that? Tandoori chicken and the lamb stick kebab. Oh, my goodness. That is incredible. So tell me what we're looking at right there. This, this is the lamb seek kebab that's made in a special Indian clay oven. Yeah, we marinate this overnight and we keep with all the spices and yogurt and it's served the next day awesome. when the order comes. Yeah, lamb, same way the tandoori chicken. It's a beautiful presentation. I love the colors. I love the, uh, the plating. Thank you. Uh, Thank you really good stuff. So, and what is this? I, this well, is I chicken, wouldn't know. tandoori yeah. chicken. Yes. This is also marinated in yogurt and different spices like cumin, coriander and all. And uh, we marinate this overnight and we keep. Yeah, and this is also made in the special clay oven. I wish oven. you guys could smell this because it smells absolutely wonderful. I just wanna, I just wanna bathe in it. It's absolutely incredible. So you, you really outdid yourself. Let's go down the list here, explain everything we've got. Yellow lentils, dal. This is chicken tikka masala. That's chickpeas, chana masala. Yep. That's the Gobi Manchurian. We do Indo-Chinese also. And this is uh, the mixed combo platter. Appetizer. You said that dish is Indo-Chinese? Yeah, we do Indo-Chinese also. Can you explain also. that a little bit that to me? That is like cauliflower that's uh, deep fried with uh, some chickpea flour. And then it's cooked with uh, garlic, ginger, and uh, the chili, sweet and chili, chili sauce. So you say Indo-China, it's a little bit of an influence, so there is some Chinese influence. On Indian food? Is yes, that what you're yes, saying? yes. Absolutely. That's what we do. Absolutely. Yeah. And then, then uh, what do we got here? Then that's the garlic bread, garlic naan. That's also made in the clay oven. Okay. Yeah. And that's the onion kulcha, onion naan. Okay. Same thing, made in a clay oven. Okay. Yeah. And these are the desserts the gulab jamun, the sweet balls, made with powdered milk and cheese. Wow. And it's, it's in honey syrup. And this is the cheese, homemade cheese in sweetened milk called Ras Malai. Wow. Yeah. And that's the basmati rice, what we serve with peas. And we were talking about, you know, that's beautiful. The rice is absolutely And this amazing. is the mango drink, mango lassi, a mango yogurt drink. And you make those here in-house? Yeah, we make that here. Oh, Everything awesome. is made here. And tell me a little bit about the uh, Indian beer. I'm These not that Indian familiar beers. with Indian beer. So beers. that's the Taj. That's a big one. 22 ounce. You should try that, John. It's good. Yeah? yeah very good beer. It is Saturday. <laughs> it's Saturday, yeah. <laughs> So I want to I want to show this too, hon. If you would come over, my lovely wife is filming right now. So you guys do do a lunch special right now. Yeah. Great prices. So you're open for lunch right now every day, 11:30 to three. No, we open only uh, right now. We open only Saturday and Sundays. Oh, okay. Uh, from 11:30 to three. But very soon, very soon we'll be opening every day. Okay, we, yeah, we definitely want soon. you to post when uh, that happens. Uh, okay. So as you guys can see, it's Victor's Indian Palace. It's still the same great food. It's still the same great people. Uh, still the same, same chef, owner, right? Same, same owner, yeah. same chef. Awesome. Same stuff. Same stuff. So they've got a beautiful menu on the inside here. Great pictures. 
Uh, if you're curious about any of these dishes, we can definitely know what it is. He, he explained it for you. And uh, just really, really good stuff. Uh, you guys do do um, delivery, right? Yeah, we do deliveries. Plus, we have uh, Uber Eats. Then we have uh, Menu 5. Looking at the camera. So yeah, we, we, do, we do Menu 5. Then we do uh, Uber Eats. Yeah, we do. Our, we we have our own delivery guy also who does the own our own delivery. I love to hear yeah. that. I really do. And of course, got a great opportunity for curbside out there. Yeah. Uh, there's really not that. Uh, there's not that many restaurants in here. Uh, you've got uh, basically parking right out front. So if you feel more comfortable calling in the order, keeps more money in the restaurant's pocket that way. They'll be happy to come out and deliver it to you. Or just walk right in. There's plenty of room in here. There's plenty of spacing. Also. What's that? Outdoor settings. Yes, we showed the yeah. outdoor seating. Absolutely. You've got about at least 20, 20, uh, 20 seats out there. Really good stuff. Uh, you want to go in the kitchen real fast? Yeah. Real fast. Let's go in the kitchen. Yes, 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 yes. You got to run. These people, they, they, they short attention spans. Yep. <laughs> Here we go. Introduce you to my chef. Absolutely. Mr. Basra. Yeah. That's my chef. Okay. How are you? Yeah. Yeah. Good. And uh, yeah, he's the one who takes care of everything over here in the kitchen. He's the boss. He's over the here boss. in the kitchen. So we yeah. were talking. You actually were a manager at a lot of the other Indian restaurants. Where did you used to work? I used to work in Punjab Indian restaurant in Boca. I worked in Taj in Deerfield Beach. Yeah. And we were talking a little bit of how this is your dream. It's always been yeah, your dream to open up your own restaurant. It was my dream to open my own restaurant, and here I am. Here you are. Yeah. And you got a little bit of a hit during COVID when you guys had to close down and change the name change over. Change the name, yeah. Uh, you lost a lot of your customers, it seems yeah. like. So we want to get everybody back in I'm, here again. I'm getting them back. I, I got a few of them back, so they are very happy to be that we are back. And how long have you been here, Chef? I have... Uh, 20 years I have a Punjab Indian restaurant. Okay. Two years I have a Orlando, a flavor of India. Okay. Orlando. After I come here, one year here. Awesome stuff. And this is all the stuff that you work with, right? So can you explain what the spices are and everything in here? Spicy, this one, coriander, coriander meat masala, a biryani masala, turmeric powder, this one, chili powder, this one, salt. Awesome. And then these are your sauces yeah, that you work one, with? Tikka masala sauce, onion sauce, this one uh, garlic ginger, this, this one. Uh, the base of a food is garlic and ginger. What's that? The base yeah. of a food, Indian food, is garlic ginger, you know? Garlic ginger. Yeah, that is the It's a great flavor, it really yeah, is. Great flavor. Yeah, this absolutely. One, water, only water. That's it? Yeah, pour the water, do it. Awesome and, stuff. Yeah. And then you got the tandoori one, thing yeah, over here. For the tandoori oven. Yes. I don't know if you can get a shot of that. This is the, this is the oven where you guys oven. do the tandoori. So you got the spits there. Things go in there. You put the cover on yeah, the top. the bread, chicken, everything here. And he is the tandoori chef. Mr. You are the tandoori man. Yeah, yeah. tandoori man, yeah. Uh, what's the secret to tandoori? <laughs> what's the secret? What's the best thing? There's a... Uh, okay, right. the tandoori shrimp, uh, tandoori chop. chicken, lunch chop, and... Uh, uh, the Chicken tikka. Chicken tikka. Well, we appreciate you guys that work in the kitchen, man. It's not an easy job. I got to say, one of the cleanest kitchens I've been in. We always love that. We love to see good, clean kitchens. So Thank you. Thank if you're looking for amazing Indian food, same guys that have been here, they're here again. New name, Victor's Indian Palace. Anything you want to say to the folks at home? Yeah. Say something. Uh, can't wait to see you. Can't wait to see you, my, <laughs> my customers. I want you all back. He wants everybody yeah. back, man. Come on, Indian food. Great food, well prepared. We're about to go share some dinner right now. Everything that was out front. Uh, can't say enough about these guys. Small business, support local. Local supporting locals. Take care, everybody. Thank you. Thank you, John. You got it. Thank you. Thank you so much.